I am so good, I don't even need to touch my camera. One of the things that you get on the Nikon D810 is these little holes here. And there's a special one, which is this one here, if you can see that. It's got lots of little holes in that. And that is for a very useful thing, which is very cheap. Um, and it helps you do super long exposures. If you're wanting to do astrophotography, or taking pictures of the stars, this is the little thing that you need. You can get very expensive ones, you can get digital ones, which cost a hundred pounds and all that kind of stuff, or you can get this thing, which I'll put a link to, you can get it for 7 99 and it works perfectly. You can also use it if you're wanting to make sure that your photos are as sharp as possible, where you've got it on a tripod and you're wanting to have absolutely no vibration whatsoever. This means you're not touching the camera when you take a photo. Let me show you how it works. So what we'll do is we'll take the Nikon D800 and we'll stick it in. Brilliant. So brilliant, that's it in. Now if I want to go take a photo, all I need to do now is press this button. Let's listen. Brilliant, no, I didn't even touch it. No human vibration touching that. That will be the most sharp image in the whole entire world. Uh, where this also comes in is if you look here, if we can get this to focus on that, there's a little lock button, which means we can lock it. So it can either be just a normal, take a photo. Take a photo. I just need to hold it down until it finds focus. Uh, or we can have it locked for long exposures. Now, to get the best out of your long exposures, stick your camera into manual mode. And what happens is if you go slow, 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 the maximum you can do is 30 seconds. Once you get to 30 seconds, that's it. And then you've got bulb. Bulb is completely useless if you don't have this dangly thing here. So, because with bulb, you need to have your finger constantly holding the button. For example, look, if I go, so if I actually press the button, oh, it didn't stay open for long. It's just, just taking a fast photo. That's annoying. So, for bulb to work with your finger, you need to go, and keep on holding it. That's useless. Ah, so much, so much hand shakiness. That's, that's terrible, there's gonna be a shaky camera. With this now, look at this, look at this. If I press, let's get it so it is in lock. It's in lock. If I press. I can now walk away. I can walk away. I can even be standing in the camera and all that kind of stuff and it will go for as long as I want. So maybe what you need is like a stopwatch or a clock or an iPhone for you to be able to do it, but this is if you want to do really long exposures and if I want it to stop taking the exposure, I just go done, done. And obviously that's like super mega ultra exposed because I'm doing a long exposure in a nice bright room. So yeah, if you ever wondered what that tiny little hole was and what that thing is, and I th also I think it makes you look cool. If you are in a, let's say you're in a, you've got a paying job or something and you've got on a tripod and you are bringing out the button. Oh yes. They'd be like, how did you do that? How did you do that? Let me know about it. I'm like, I'm so good, I don't even need to touch my camera. For it to take a photo. Done! It's awesome. Get this, seven quid, makes you look cool.